Good morning, everybody. What I want to talk about this morning is what did you do to prepare yesterday? Did you do anything at all? Do you even have the ability to go out and do anything? Well, if you're watching my channel, I'm hoping that you are a prepper or you're starting to wake up and you're starting to get curious about what you can do. So, you might say, well, what did you do yesterday? What I did yesterday was added more fuel to my secondary heat source, which is kerosene. I also went to a gun store, I mean not a gun store, a gun show. You might say, well that's not really preparing. Well, yes, actually that is. Because you never know what deals you may find, or you may see something that you had thought about adding to your preps that you don't have, and you had been able to get it because of things going on in the world right now. Uh, yesterday, I didn't find anything that I wanted, but <clears throat> in the process of doing that, I've got a new neighbor that moved in about a year ago across the street. And over the last couple of months, we've talked here and there and we've talked there. So I found out yesterday or two days ago that he and I have a lot more in common than what uh, we knew. We might, you might say we've got sort of the same mindset. Uh, now we haven't gone into full details of anything which is not something I would do with anybody that I don't know that well. But things are looking up so I made a new contact. Made a new friend, somebody that I should be able to count on if things were to go absolutely to crap. Now he's in the guard. Uh, so if things were to go south fairly quickly, chances of him being activated by either federally or by the state, uh, most likely would be by the state, by the governor, then he might just be a resource for information about what's going on. So, don't know how everything might play out, but you should be asking yourself every single day, what have I done to prep, uh, to better myself? Take something that's existing and improve upon it. Say you haven't tried fire making in a while. Okay, well, start working on your fire making skills again. See if you can get a little bit quicker at it, a little bit better at it. Uh, you are proficient doing it and do it regularly in a perfect environment. Try doing it in a windy environment. Try doing it in a moisture environment. It's been raining. Um, I did that and that was very interesting. You can get wet wood, not soaked wood, but wet wood to burn. It'll smoke a lot more and it takes a lot longer, but when you get enough coals and get that fire going good enough, it'll burn. It's a pain in the ass, but it will work. Um, I'm contemplating going and adding another, uh, getting another, getting another five gallons of kerosene for my kerosene heater. I also need to take my kerosene heater apart and trim the wick. That's something that needs to be done every year before you start using it. Um, <clears throat> here in the South, we don't typically have very cold winters, but because we had a cooler summer this year, chances of the winter being a lot colder are fairly good. So we're going to have some days in the South. <laughs> that are uh, or normally 40 to 50 degrees for highs I might get in the 30s for lows but a lot of times we're in the 40s for lows through the winter and we have a week or two that's fairly cold in February typically but we really don't have to use the kerosene heater that often so it's not something that I really keep up with however this heater has worked for many years and has always been very reliable so I do take care of it before I'm going to use it since I think I'm going to use it that may be something I do in fact I might even put that on video for you I'm contemplating going out and adding two more 20 pound cylinders for propane this way if something were to happen and we were to lose power I've got yet another way to cook besides the charcoal besides the one pound cylinders 
besides the uh, Coleman stoves, besides the wood-fired heat, or wood-fired stove that you can, or like my rocket stove over here, or one of the small backpack stoves. It takes a little bit longer to cook on something like that, but it can be done. So, adding something like that back into my preps, just bettering myself. Um, physical fitness is always something you need to work on. Okay, you're up to walking a mile. Add, my, add another quarter mile to it. Add another half mile to it. Add a third mile to it. Um, take your dog while you're out and about. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Ooh, buddy, while you're out and about, say hi to your neighbors. It also gives you a good chance, a real good opportunity to meet other neighbors and check out the neighborhood while you're not driving so you're not having to pay as close of attention to what's going on so you're not running off the road or running into somebody else's house. You get to look around. Hang on. Looks like that's not one of the uh, flights that sound like it's canceled. <laughs> oh, so what did you do? better yourself from the day before. What did you do? Um, if you're, say, uh, I can't think of what it's called now, you're living off-grid and you, not living, but uh, you're out camping and you built a small shelter, something simple, did you make it better for the day? Did you add more wood so you're not cold at night? So what did you do? over this past weekend. What are you planning to do today to better yourself? I'm going to look at another YouTube video that will give you more information. You're going to buy some silver. You're going to go out and get an extra loaf of bread, throw it in the freezer, a couple extra pounds of hamburger, buy some more cane cuts. I watched a video yesterday from Pinball. He was showing, Pinball prepared this, he was showing his local Dollar General. Okay, now where he lives is a small town. I understand that. I live in a massive town, Nashville, Tennessee. I uh, can't wait to get out of here either. So I stopped by my Dollar General because I needed some hot, or some hot dog buns. I was grilling later that day and I forgot to pick up hot dog buns. Ours wasn't anywhere near as bad as that, but I'll tell you, it was a lot. It was picked through. You could definitely tell it was picked through. So, you got to be asking yourself every single day, what am I going to do today to better myself so that I'm not the one who's a have not tomorrow, I'm somebody that is one of the haves. Because to the person that didn't prepare, I'm the have and they're the have not. Even though I'm not living in a multi-million dollar home or hundreds of acres and buying up property from side to side so nobody can build anywhere close to me. I've got food. I've got the ability to barter. I've got skills. So it works all the way around. To the person that's not prepared, you're up here. You're now the Jeff Bezos. What have you done? What have you done? What are you going to do to get yourself more prepared than what you were? That's all I got for you this morning. The last thing I want to say is there are a few problems in life that cannot be solved. Battleship Broadside. Have a great rest of your day.